Hello, welcome to West Anime Sims. My name is Kelvin and how are you doing? And this video will be an interesting one because I am attempting to do the honeycomb challenge in The Sims 2. And a couple of simmers have done it before. I link the description down below where I get the idea from. And let's try it out. So let's start with building the uh, honeycomb uh, layout first by building some squares like this. Unlike in one of the simmers, uh, Spring Sims did, he used uh, diagonal walls. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to handle all the diagonally locations in using cheats. So this is how the layout for the honeycomb look like. If I rotate the camera slightly diagonal like this, you will see the honeycomb shape. Now I have to remove all the unnecessary walls and all the rooms will be folded out like that and did the flooring and I put every room as door. As for the color scheme and wallpapers, I'm not much of an idea yet. I'll change as it goes along. On the ground floor will be the kitchen and the dining area and on the first floor, upstairs will be bathroom on the left, center will be the living room and a study on the other side and on the top floor will be two bedrooms. For the kitchen, I'm going for the more contemporary style from the Sims 2 kitchen and bathroom interior stuff pack. I really like to change to stone flooring and walls. For the dining room, I'll try to use this dining table with a tablecloth and have some dining chairs to match. I'll have a nectar bar at the corner over there and maybe change the flooring to a darker wood to match the colors better. Now, this is the first time having a huge bathroom like this. Let's go on with a full set with a shower and a tub in the middle well as very nice toilet and sink. In the living room I changed the uh, wallpaper to a bamboo motif and put a bamboo plant beside it because why not and some IKEA couches. As for the study or home office, I'm going to go with the green and light brown colors as a motif. I realize I rarely use blue for the master bedroom. It's always red or green. So I'm going to pick blue this time. Ooh, I like this artwork. For the second bedroom, we'll be using more of a dark red color. As for the back of the house, I'm going to use stack, some staircases to connect all the rooms. And how it looks like from the behind doesn't really matter because the main part is the front. And lastly, I'm going to enclose all the rooms with a short fence so that you can still see from the outside but sims cannot go, go, go into to the rooms like walk into the rooms like that. You have to go through the doors. And ta-da! This is our honeycomb challenge house. Looks really really interesting. I am really really happy it turned out pretty well. And let's throw around this build. Okay, let's start from the ground floor. Ground floor will be kitchen and dining room. And on upstairs, there will be a bathroom, the living room in the center, and a study. And upstairs will be two bedrooms, one master and the other more for the teenager. So what do you think? I think this is a really interesting build, but do leave me a comment and don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe to West Anime Sims and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye!